Hello, Fabien. Uh, could you introduce yourself a little bit? Yes, so um, I just finished my um, 737 uh, courses with the test uh, today. And uh, before begin um, to aviation, I was uh, a magician. So I had a magic shop in France. And uh, I also do studies in uh, electronics. I know that you have just passed your exam. So uh, yeah. could you share your emotions about it? Oh, there's a lot of emotion, of course. Um, we feel a little bit tired because uh, the test uh, is uh, four hours. So for us to be concentrated on uh, everything, because there are a lot, a lot of things to to remember and to do, of course. Um, and uh, of course, it's the it's not the it's the end of the course of the Boeing 737, but it's the beginning, in fact, of the life with the big airplane. So there's a lot of feeling about that. Yeah. So was it hard to learn flying with this simulator? Uh, what about the new visual system installed? I think the visual system is very nice because you've got uh, pretty the, the view like in the real plane. Uh, it's uh, um, 180 degrees approximately, and uh, yes, when you fly, you you feel uh, you can saw the runway on the right, on the left, every everything. There's a, it's very very nice and uh, with the motion you can feel uh, everything you do in the plane so it's very nice I think to work with this simulator. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Fabian, how did you choose Baltic Aviation Academy? First we found the, the school on the internet of course and um, after that we uh, talk a lot with um, Arthur who gives us uh, a lot of information and uh, we um, I have uh, heard uh, about a uh, company here and uh, I wanted to, to work with them. So um, I've tried to do uh, all my best to, to try. Uh, are you glad because of your decisions? What are your impressions at our training center? I have a good impression. Uh, the school is very, was very nice because the first step was the ground school when you arrived. And uh, we had a computer, so we can learn with the computer. And we had um, an instructor um, that can Help, uh, help us when you, we've got uh, some difficulty and do some mock-up session to train uh, before going to the simulator. So it was very nice and um, and we had a driver to get out from the home to the to the center and to come back uh, in the evening. Um, and all commodity with a, a room with the coffee, with a, the kitchen was very nice. Uh, to eat on uh, uh, just between the um, b uh, before the simulator or uh, after the ground school, so it was very nice. Yes, I'm glad to hear it. Well, Fabien, you are from France, and uh, you can be proud of aviation industry in your country. Uh, Paris Air Show also shapes it. Uh, have you ever been there? And uh, if you were, uh, could you tell us more about it? Mm, yes, it's true. In France, yes, we've got a lot of things um, about aviation, and uh, at Paris, well, it's very nice. I um, went to the to this show, but uh, a long time ago when I was uh, young, and it was very uh, impressive because there's a lot of uh, big plane, a lot of show. It's uh, yes, very impressive. But now, since uh, it's strange, because since uh, I have begun to study from the plane, I have no no time now to to go to the show. It was, uh, I think, just uh, a month ago in France when I began to have the course here. So uh, this year um, it was impossible to go even well, to the show. At the beginning of the interview, you have said that uh, you have your master degree in electronic systems and telecommunication. Also, you worked as a manager in your own magic shop. It's far away from aviation. How did you come here? Mm, yes. Uh, perhaps uh, when you say that the first time can be like it's far away, but in fact I think it's not very far from the aviation. There's a lot of um, point about that. Uh, the first one is the illusion. In fact, I think in aviation you've got a lot of illusion. To control illusion of the sense, illusion uh, visual illusion. When you see the runway, sometimes can be a little bit above. Uh, with your eyes it's not uh, always the truth that you can see. And when you are a magician you know that. And the second point is that you have to have one uh, time uh, before the, I can tell the spectator for magician. And in aviation, it's one time before the plane. You know, you have to be uh, on the plane and uh, know what will happen after. 
and not the reverse, not to say, uh, oh, I don't know what's happened. And in uh, Illusion, we use that. So the spectator don't know what will happen, but for me, I know. So it's easier. And, uh, but of course, when you learn, I, I know that for the magic, and no, I try to do this on the airplane, and it's very, another thing, very difficult to learn. So we can say you have a lot of practice on imagination and uh, yes, on but, magic uh, and aviation. Help, yes. <laughs> and of course, when you are a manager, I think it's help too for the aviation, because when you are on a, on a plane, you have to manage a lot of things. So I think the, the both things come together and with the study in electronics it's I think important because in the plane you've got a lot of electronic device and extra so here I am. Uh, you are learning to fly with Boeing 737 aircraft yeah. and is this your first type of an aircraft? Yes, yes, it's my first type rating. Uh, I've got just uh, 300 hours of flight so I think when you for a beginner like me, it's very difficult, but I think uh, I work uh, twice a time, it's not a problem because I want uh, to do this job. So I think when you are very motivated, there's no problem. Why did you choose this type of an aircraft? Is uh, it of your dream? Yes, something like this, but uh, I think for the uh, first one, the Boeing 737, it's uh, a good one. Uh, there's this one on the Airbus uh, 320, of course, but I think there's a lot of companies that use the uh, Boeing 737, so that's my choice, yes. And um, how do you think, uh, what are the main qualities pilots should have to be successful? I think to be successful, a pilot uh, have to, um, uh, to be serious, of course, study a lot, because when you are a pilot, you have to learn every day, I think. I think every day you learn something new, something more. And if you don't want to, to learn more, it's not a, you can be a pilot, I think, because all your life you will uh, learn something and to train. Because we know that when you are a pilot, you have to train uh, perhaps for uh, improve the English language, to improve the, the skill. Uh, every six months you have to, to do something to stay at the level and to improve your level. So um, you have to have all this quality, quality of manager, of course. And in the end, any tips for uh, students coming to study to foreign countries? Uh, yes, the first step, I think, it's to have a good IR type and uh, when you practice for the CPL, so learn a lot about the procedure, etc. And uh, perhaps just uh, before coming to learn a little bit about the, for example, the Boeing 737, know some tips about the plane, to have a little bit, uh, to be a little bit in advance. Before coming, I have studied a little bit uh, the plane to know some, uh, some things about that. So Fabien, thank you for your answers. I wish you good luck uh, to your uh, Boeing 737 new generation difference trainings, uh, base trainings, light trainings and uh, I hope that uh, everything is going to be okay for you. Thank you very much, yes, because uh, there's a lot of job now to do. Goodbye. Thank you.